we finally get a way to upgrade our weapons to item level 530. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Stefan Ash, and today I have another little Final Fantasy guide for you. With patch 5.58 coming out, there are some updates that I wanted to go over and put out to make sure that people understand it. We are now able to upgrade our item level 520 gear, our Crypt Lurkers augmented gear to 530. Before we could not do that with our weapons, but now we are able to. So let's go over what the patch notes say. In the patch notes 5.58, we see that they updated it here. Item required to enhance weapons purchased with Allegan tombstones, tombstones, I'm not sure, of Revelation. Crypt Esther can be purchased from Fathard in Yulmore. Before, you were only able to upgrade your item level 520 to 530 if you had done Savage Content and you get drops from Savage Content in order to upgrade those weapons. But with the Endwalker expansion being released pretty soon in November, we are now able to exchange tokens from the near Automata raids, which I know maybe not be exciting for you as we've all been doing these raids forever and ever and ever. But now you can use those tokens in order to upgrade your weapon. It will be the same process of updating your gear where you go and purchase from Fathard Crypt Esther, which is now available for the tokens. You have to have the three tokens from the Puppets Bunker, Copied Factory, and the new Tower of Paradigm. I'm probably not saying that correctly. And once you have those three tokens, then you are able to go and upgrade your gear as normal like you would anything else or upgrade your weapon as normal. I can't currently show you as we are down for maintenance, but I wanted to put together this video so then you guys know that you need to go and upgrade your weapon so you can have all item level 530 for casual and beginner players. They have also updated that the weekly restrictions on receiving Blades of Antiquity or Lost Antiquity from Eden's Promise has been moved. So now you can go and farm those in Eden's Promise in order to update multiple jobs that you have that whatever you want to take into Endwalker or for the people who are kind of completionist and want to get everyone up to item level 530. I myself am just excited that I'm going to have one character fully maxed out to item level 530 with weapon and gear, which will be my black mage that I'm taking into Endwalker. This is just a quick video that I wanted to put together so you guys have this information I have links down below for my discord if you guys want to join a really helpful community in order to keep up to date on things just something for knowledge seekers and asking questions and a safe place for beginning players so go out and get your item level 530 as soon as we're able to so then you can be set for Endwalker. thank you guys for watching and if you want to watch more Final Fantasy tutorials then you can click here